Hello everyone, this is Marius from Inve Aquaculture. In this video, I will present the different steps to quickly set up a microscope. So first, before turning on the microscope, make sure that the light setting is at minimum. Then check that the eyepieces are clean, free of grease, fingerprints or dust, and clean them if necessary. Carefully rotate the full objective and kick it in position. Then you can place your microscope slide on the stage and secure the position with the spring. Adjust the specimen so that you focus on a certain part of the slide. We now need to set up the eyepieces. Adjust them until you have a clear binocular vision, which means that when watching, you should see only one circle and not two circles close to each other. If you are using a microscope frequently, you can use the scales to note the distance between your eyes for future setup. The scale between eyes may vary on different models of microscope. We can now increase the light to a comfortable level. For the next steps, we will set up the condenser. Condensers are composed of a diaphragm that can be adjusted and on some model of microscope, a phase ring. So use the condenser knob to raise the condenser so it will reach near the top. Then, if the microscope has a phase ring, we bring it to zero, and we open the diaphragm to let in as much light as possible. We will now uh, set up the objective. So first, cover your left eye, and look with the right eye into the right eyepiece, and we adjust the focus using the adjustment knobs. When it's in focus, you should have a sharp image from your specimen. After that, you will cover your right eye, and with the left eye, we will look into the left eyepiece. We adjust the focus using this time the diopter ring, which is at the base of the left eyepiece. Again, the image should be short. The objective is now in focus. You can look with both eyes and make minor adjustments if the image is not completely sharp. We then need to set up the condenser focus. Uh, for that, we will place a sharp pencil or any other object with a sharp point on the source light, and we will look into the eyepieces. If the pencil point is not in focus, we adjust with the condenser adjustment knob. And when in focus, it is possible to see blue-purple edges around the object. The microscope is now ready to use. And because objectives are cofocal, all the other objectives will stay in focus with the setting that we have just done now. There is no need to touch the adjustment knobs. If you want to observe under the 40 objective, you will have to adjust the diaphragm. If you are using the 100 objective, you will need to use immersion oil. To use immersion oil, first lower the stage down before clicking the 100 objective in place. And we are going to use a cover slip to avoid direct contact of the specimen with the objective lens. So place one drop of oil on the cover slip, then raise the stage so that the objectives start to touch the oil drop. From there, use the fine knob, the small knob in the center, to bring the area observed into focus. To avoid crushing the cover slip and damage your sample or the objective lens, it is important to keep an eye on the bottom of the objective. After using a microscope, it is important to store it correctly for the next user. Remove your slide. If you've been using oil, clean the objective with a paper and clean any sea water that may be on metal, metal components. Lower the stage, put the full objective in position, turn the lights to minimum, and unplug and cover the microscope to protect it from dust. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have found this video useful. Take care and see you next time.